Good morning, uh, good evening, good uh, afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to Solid Jamaz, uh, the show for men. It's been a while. We took a bit of a break and uh, we are back with a bang. And today, my friend, it's been a while, right? Yes, 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 it's been a while, but uh, the break was good. Break was good. And uh, we, we got mail. We mm. got mail from Leslie. Leslie from Kenya and uh, Leslie was uh, having a concern with uh, one of the episodes that we did. I can't remember that episode number, but it was with Brian Semanda, the sex therapist. What, what does Leslie have to say? Leslie was coming from the spiritual angle and uh, she was concerned that... Uh, by spiritual you mean? By spiritual I mean that she's a Christian, born again, and uh, she was quoting scripture. And uh, she got a concern about how Brian would be coaching people in matters related with sex using uh, worldly principles. For example, using uh, you know his background of porn and all that stuff and so on. But we got to talk to Leslie, and um, uh, Leslie understands where we're coming from, and she understands. Uh, we also understand where she's coming from. But we do appreciate the mail. That feedback keeps us going. It's uh, one of those things that we appreciate. If you have listened to Solid Jamaz, we appreciate and uh, if you wanted to write, get back to us, go to solidjamaz at gmail.com and uh, we'll reply to your concerns. Today we've got a show and I want us to talk about something interesting, my friend. Mm. Yesterday I, I showed you something online, right? You remember? It was... Uh, First of all, let us introduce ourselves. Yes. Go ahead. <laughs> Hello world, my name is Ngomzi, the Solution Wataba, and it's always a blessing to come to you with those insights that are life-giving, light-bringing, and mind-changing to bring you to a place of growth in all things and on all sides. And as you have heard, this is about men for men, to help men grow in their spaces, in their psyche, in everything about who men are, and that's what we are about, helping solid jammers, wounded warriors to get back that place of purpose. Yeah, yeah. And solid, uh, you're the guy who knows about this uh, thing. Solid is broken down into an acrostic. It's a, it's a mnemonic, right? <laughs> <laughs> what Lawrence is trying to say in all that English is that the word solid is an abbreviation for yeah. the kind of man that we are growing into and... Uh, the kind of man that we are trying to bring out there to become to become mm-hmm. a man that is secure we're becoming we're not we're not okay. arrived yet yes yeah and we thank god for that a man who is secure mm-hmm. a man who is organized mm-hmm. a man who is loving and leads out of love mm-hmm. and a man who is uh, intentional intentional mm-hmm. about the things that they do and how they do them because we believe that Mm. Purpose is a genesis of greatness. Mm. So for you to be a solid jama, you have to be intentional about mm-hmm. your life. Mm-hmm. And uh, the D is being disciplined mm. as a man. Uh, because we have discussed and always say this, that there is no substitute for discipline in the equation of success. Mm-hmm. So for a man to be successful, the Bible says that a man who can govern his soul mm. is better than one who takes a city. Yeah. Yeah. So that is what discipline is supposed to bring us to. And like anyone knows, that is probably the hardest thing. It, it is, I gotta tell you, when you look at solid, when you look at those, uh, those things that you just told us, th- those two things, the I and the D, mm. the intentional part and the discipline part, do you know what thing they don't have? The feelings. No. They, they, they're not feeling, you don't feel like you want to you wanna love, you don't feel like you want to pay bills, you don't feel like you want to be a solid jama. But like Nike says, we only had one one, just do it just anyway. Just do it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, yesterday I sent you this. Mm. And I want us to just discuss this because it's a social thing. And uh, in both the, uh, I don't know what to say. The, the Christian circles and even the non-Christian circles. Mm. There is feedback as far as this issue is concerned, and I picked it up yesterday. Mm. It's a guy, I'm not going to mention his name. No, do. Please do mention his name. Uh, at Godfrey Kutesa, that is his Twitter handle, I think. Mm. He says, young men, when seeking to marry, get that girl who is humble enough to treat you as a king. To address you 
as my Lord, like Sarah did to Abraham. That's the submission we want. In return, you love that girl without forcing things. Men love to be exalted. Women enjoy to be loved. Uh, I'm sorry to say, Mr. Kutesa, those girls don't exist anymore. Let me ask you if a question. If they do exist, they are very hard to find. Yeah, fine. Let's, let me ask you this question. Mm. Is there any semblance of truth in what Mr. Kutesa is saying here? Truth and reality sometimes are different yeah. sides of a coin. Of course. What Mr. Kutesa is saying is what every man wants. But whether they will get it is a different question altogether. Pause, pause there for a minute. Mm. You're saying it's what every man wants. Is this now the ideal that we normally talk about? So you see, it is the ideal. Yeah. I mean, you have mentioned it a couple of times even before we're starting the show. Yeah. That a woman who knows how to submit to her man mm. is uh, a gem. Mm. And when you when you talk about truth, you have to understand uh, what is the context of truth. Mm. So what Mr. Kutesa is um, saying there, he has a, he's having biblical reference. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's he picked up. Uh, I think it's First Peter chapter three or thirteen. Something yes, like that. First Peter. And uh, he's quoting that Sarah mm-hmm. called Abraham, my lord, my lord. Mm-hmm. So basically, he wants the ideal woman that the Bible talks about. Mm. And uh, when you look at the kind of woman that Sarah was, um, you have to see her also for her full side. Mm. This is a same woman who caused, threw away, you know, was mistreating the maid. Yeah, yeah. Uh, after giving the maid to the, the maid husband, to the husband. Mm. and so you therefore see mm. that. Don't look at Sarah from just one side. Mm. Of she's calling mm. Abraham Lord. Mm. Also understand how much pain mm. Sarah caused to Abraham. To Abraham. Yeah. What am I trying to tell you? It's that even the heroes we have, yeah, they have flaws. They have flaws. Yeah. So even the woman that you might think yeah. is perfect, yeah. When you get to live with her, mm. you discover that there are things about her mm. that should make her relegated mm. to an undesirable woman. Mm. Are you getting my point? I'm getting your point. So, now, that you can claim to quote the Bible as truth. Yeah. Right? Mm. But this is a suggestion. Mm-hmm. If Peter was suggesting to women, mm. humble yourselves, be like Sarah. Mm. You know, call your husband, mm. Lord. Mm-hmm. And guess what? Men want that. But allow me to, to take you now to what God says about women. Mm-hmm. You see, when you look at the Bible um, and you quote, for example, Peter. Mm-hmm. Yes? Mm-hmm. That was Peter's thinking, mm-hmm. which he wrote in the Bible. And Paul even has some places where he says, these are my thoughts. Mm. This is not the Lord. This is not the Lord yeah. speaking, mm. but I'm simply suggesting that mm. husbands mm. love your wives mm. like Christ loves the church. Mm. But let us go now to where out of the mouth of God mm. we hear something. Something direct, direct. from God. Yeah. So I'm taking you back to the beginning in Genesis chapter obviously, 3. Obviously. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this for context is uh, after... Adam and Eve have eaten of the fruit Mm. and now God is dealing with them Mm. and setting for them what he believes, what people call the curses, Mm. Mm. yeah? Mm. But for me, it's not so much as curses as punishment. Mm. So let me read from um, verse 16. Mm -hmm. He says, I'm reading from the message translation. Mm -hmm. He told the woman, I will multiply your pains in childbirth. Mm -hmm. You give birth to your babies in pain. You want to please your husband, but he will lord it over you. Let me get another translation and, and, and compare that. Mm. Yeah. Um, in the NLT, mm-hmm. New Living Translation says, Then he said to the woman, I will sharpen the pain of your pregnancy. And that's a reality. Women give, give birth in pain, right? Mm-hmm. And then get this, and you will desire to control your husband, but mm. he will rule over you. Mm. Think about that. 
as a as a as a as a repercussion of eating the fruit and therefore changing the order mm-hmm. god comes and says woman you are going to want to control your husband but he will be lord over you so god predicted mm-hmm. the the, the the seasons and the times of the feminists who wanted he, now he, to come and dominate men do, do you notice how how it is written what you've just read mm-hmm. I, i'm looking at it it's not uh, a command Mm-mm. He's just stating he, a reality. He's just, he's just he's just communicating. Yeah, he's just stating. Uh, he's not saying fact. that a man should should actually lord over. Mm-hmm. He says this is how it's going this to be. This how it's going to be. You will want to control your yeah. man, yeah, yeah. but he will lord over you. Over you. Yeah. yeah. So this is this is a generation we are living in. Yeah. What Kutesa is doing. So Kutesa is actually representing a group of men who have this desire to have a woman who is submissive yes. and calls this man lord but and god is saying about the spirit of the woman yeah. she will want to be in charge yeah yeah is it not the world we are living in today that's the world we are living in but let me let me let, let so me I just to, let, let me show you something now yeah. you see when you now fast forward into into um Ephesians mm-hmm. yeah Ephesians chapter 5 mm-hmm. from verse 21 mm-hmm. it says that therefore submit one to another out of reverence for Christ mm-hmm. you, you know um, even that Ephesians it addresses men mm-hmm. they have their part to play which we should going to talk about today okay But and then it addresses women the women it even goes ahead and addresses the kids the children right and the slaves and then there's that part that you're bringing where you're talking about is them the together it is the first step that's the first step submit one to another submit one to another mm. out of reverence for Christ so um in the other verse we read that but the man will lord over you mm. right mm-hmm. now let me i found something interesting as seen here the word lord and there is lord l o r d mm-hmm. yeah and then another translation says uh you will want to please your husband but he will rule over you mm-hmm. as your master that is the easy english translation mm-hmm. now when you look at the word lord it rhymes but with a change of letters mm-hmm. with the word lead mm-hmm. Because now when you go to the next when you go to the next verse in 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 chapter 3 mm. we now see God dealing with a man. Mm. Get this it's interesting mm-hmm. that he first deals with a woman mm-hmm. gives her how her life is going to turn out mm. and then now he speaks to the man and this is what he says. He told the man because you listened to your wife mm-hmm. and ate from this tree the very ground is cast because of you getting food from the ground will be as painful as having babies is for your wife you'll be working in pain all your life long the ground will sprout thorns and weeds you'll get your food the hard way why he listened he was not he did not lead he did not lead so in this conversation that men are talking about where they want women to submit God has put it in there by this verse that they will want to control or they will want to please or they will want to dominate but he has put a certain system that men will eventually have to lead now when a man um, despises his responsibility mm. to lead his wife mm. yeah then you have the kind of acrimony and trouble that we are having today so The, it is easy for a woman to submit to a man who knows how to lead her and the best way to lead a woman is in love we're going to come back to that discussion about the man leading mm-hmm. but i want us to get raw a bit here mm-hmm. you know get the scriptures out of the way and so on but just get raw here <laughs> 